And this is part of the reason you, one, don't do stupid things, and two, you don't go off-road by yourself, because... Yo, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I need all the room I can, because we are heading like an hour and a half up north, right outside of Centralia, to go pick up a new mod for the Jeep. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it yet. You're going to have to wait till we get there, but we got our cash. And we got to get this low washer fluid light off of the dashboard because it's annoying to see. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to hit the road, get some gas and head on up. Well, we are about 20 minutes away now. Um, I didn't record any of the driving on the way up. On the ride up here, it's just nice to see over the trees and all the trees, especially during this time of year, because the tree leaves are starting to change colors and all, but it's just way too loud in here to vlog anything while doing 80 miles an hour down the highway. But the Jeep cruises between 75 and 80. It rides as smooth as it's gonna get. Um, but we are going to head to Centralia after picking up this new mod for the Jeep. So stick around to see what the mod is and then stick around to see some playtime before we go on our big off-road excursion at Rouse Creek in a week next week. I think one of the best parts for me about coming up here is just driving down a road like this and seeing trails just going off to the sides in the woods like now that I say that now there's no trails well scratch what I was saying now there's no trails at all because I said something um, but on a side note I don't know if you guys can tell on camera or not but my windows are tinted I actually got my windows tinted this past Wednesday um, I was gonna film my reaction to seeing the Jeep, but I locked myself out of my house because I gave the guy that was doing my tent the keys to the Jeep and I didn't have a house key to go grab my GoPro. Um, but yeah, I got my windows tinted. Everything but the windshield has been tinted. Um, I think it makes the Jeep look a hell of a lot better. And I mean, you can still see through the tent. It is really dark. But you can still definitely see through it from the back, side to side. So it's not dark enough to where I believe I should be getting pulled over for it. But only time will tell. So we're about so we're about 10 minutes out now. So I will see you guys when we get this new modification in the back of the Jeep. So made it to Centralia. I tried to flex, but my e-brake doesn't work so i have to leave the jeep in gear and when i went to get out it just kept kind of coasting backwards a little bit and skipping gears but we're here before i show you guys the mod if you've never been to centralia there's a little church that little white thing right there is like a church or something i've never been over that way but i guess it's like kind of like a touristy spot but over that way is like I think they do like excavating back there and I know there's like some excavating down there you can see those ginormous windmills that go probably for like a mile or something I don't even know but Centralia is kind of like an iffy people say oh it's illegal other people say no you're fine as long as you stay off the highway so if you're unfamiliar with Centralia I mean you can research it yourself but basically it was a town at one point they were setting trash on fire and it caught one of the coal mines on fire so now if you come up in the middle of winter when it's like 20 30 degrees there's spots through all out through centralia where you can actually see coal coming through the ground because it's still burning under there i think it's been burning for like 50 or 60 years but that's just some basic background on centralia we're actually going to hit a trail but first let's look at this new mod Here we got a affordable off-road, the cheap affordable bumper also. So it's the affordable off-road, affordable rear off-road bumper with a tire carrier attachment. So one thing you guys 
C on Wranglers from Factory is a tire carrier and some of the older Liberties have them also but it's very very uncommon to see a tire carrier on an XJ so I went ahead and bought not only a tire carrier but an off-road bumper also so excuse me so we got to get that painted we got to get it on now as you do know I have a fifth pro comp tire i did just order a fifth wheel also so i'm going to have a full set of matching wheels and tires for this thing and i even went ahead and purchased some center caps for the wheels so the jeep's going to be looking mint all right so a big no-no in off-road in the off-road world is going off-road by yourself without another vehicle let alone not having another person but I've been to Centralia plenty of times. Um, I'm not going to get stuck anywhere that I'm going to need to be pulled out. If I do, I have a winch. If the winch breaks on me, I have a tow strap and there's plenty of people around that I can just walk to and be like, hey, can you come pull me out? But I don't recommend going off road alone, especially alone as in the sense of there's not another vehicle here. But like I said, I've been here plenty of times. I know the trail I'm going to go down. I'm not going to need i'm not going to need someone here to help me get stuck if i get stuck i'm going to do my best with filming what i can i usually do the little hill climb over there but i'm not going to do that today because no one's here if something happens all right so I'm 100% going to have to put music over these off-road clips between this little rattling and all the squeaking and clacking going on back there. Um, I don't want to have to put you guys through that. So I will deal with it and edit in some music later when I am editing these clips. I just want to show you guys stuff, but I don't want to lose my damn door. Here, I'll stop right here. All right, so here is probably the toughest part that we have ever discovered in Centralia. This definitely requires four wheel drive. Now, someone asked me to do two wheel drive, off-roading and two wheel drive since you have a welded rear, but I also have a five speed. I'm not trying to burn up my clutch. So I'm gonna set the GoPro somewhere up here and we're gonna come crawling up this thing.
So if you're wondering what I got stuck on, my, the pumpkin on my axle, the middle of the axle got stuck on that rock. Also, my gas light is on, so I don't know how much longer I can actually keep doing this. So. Like I said, I'm running out of gas. So I was gonna turn around anyways, but up around that corner, there's a whole, there's a big tree blocking the trail. So even if I wanted to keep going, I couldn't. But we're gonna go back down and keep heading the way that we came, or the way that we were going, and then we'll turn around and head out. Going down is never fun. So remember earlier in the video, I was talking about views and that's what I like about this drive. It's what I like about being up here. Miles, trees and tree line. It's amazing and in fall time, all the orange and yellow, red leaves, all the leaves changing. It's just awesome. But I don't have a fancy camera, don't have a fancy phone. So I'm gonna make do with what I can to take a picture of the Jeep and the scenery. Is that a trail? Oh, that's not a trail, that's a fucking hole. Holy <laughs> Fell out of my seat. All right guys, so I tried to be funny and drive off the side of a trail and I was recording off of my phone to send a video to um, the OGZilla and Street Speed, and I did not see this little ditch here. But I haven't tried to get out yet, but <laughs> I ran straight into the damn ground. This is so funny. This is picture worthy. And this is part of the reason you, one, don't do stupid things, and two, you don't go off road by yourself because. I mean, I'm probably gonna crawl right out of this once I put it in four wheel drive, let's be honest. But just saying, if I can't get out of this, that's the reason you don't go off road by yourself. I'm still recording, but just to show you guys how awesome this place is, we got side by sides, four wheelers, there's a dirt bike, people come out here and enjoy it. As far as I know, it's legal and free. <laughs>
Well guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm at my dad's house. I think we're painting the bumper today. I don't really know, I haven't decided yet. Don't know how I'm really feeling, but I just put this on there. So, and then they come with things for your lug nuts to go on. So I gotta match that to like a five by four and a half bolt pattern. And then put that on the back of the Jeep and it's gonna look sick. I'm hoping to get the other wheel this week before Saturday, before we go to Rouse Creek. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you guys are excited for another Roush Creek trip, let me know in the comment section down below. But I will see you guys next time. Peace out.